Here's a bonus guys, I decided to do a compression check on the uh, cylinders on the X500 before I put the tank and everything back on. And uh, all you gotta do, wrench out one of your, one of your spark plugs. And uh, as I was adjusting things on this puppy, she got really sooty again. So uh, hopefully I have adjustments correct now that she's gonna run right. I'm very surprised to see how black she is. But I'll clean that up and put it back in and like I said, hopefully everything is adjusted correctly that that won't happen again. Um, and then all you do, screw this down the hole. Make sure you're not getting dirt down into the engine. Um, this side's pretty clean, but I've noticed on the other side, there's some dirt down there in the hole. And I don't know how I'm going to get it out, but hopefully I can be very careful. So anyway, I'm going to turn this down in there and then we hook up this gauge to it, crank it a few times and see what we're at. Try and get you a good look here. I like what we're seeing on this side. Um, I'll put up on the screen the exact range, but I believe the range is 120 something through 190. So we're sitting right in there about 160, I guess. So I'm happy with that on the left side. Okay, let's check cylinder number two. Get somewhere we can see this thing. Turn that off. All right. Go away, glare. Well, look at that. Both cylinders are just about exactly the same. Now, I do want to... Uh, give you a disclaimer here. I'm happy with that. That tells me that we're not in big trouble here. But if you read the directions, they will say battery must be at or, at or near full charge. We're, we're good there. Idle the engine until operating temperature is reached, then stop the engine. I didn't do that. Right now, That's I already did that for uh, adjusting the carburetors. Blow out dirt from around the spark plugs. Well, I should have done that. Actually, that's a good idea. I'll see if I can do that when the spark plugs are back in. Remove all spark plugs and the air cleaner. I didn't remove the air cleaner. Block wide open the throttle body valve or carburetor throttle and choke plates. I didn't do that either. Either. So could I have a better reading if I did the proper testing? Maybe. Maybe if I did everything correctly, we could get this thing up to uh, better readings. But being that both are good and they're both within spec, I'm happy with that. If we have problems down the road, do it correctly. But right now, this guy seems good and I feel okay to put this all back together and throw it on the road. Now that we're idling, I want you to see what the charging system's doing. So I got this set, set to 20 on the DC and let's see if I can do this with one hand. So tell us how our charging system is. So we're over 14 volts. Which means we're actually charging over and above what we uh, need for the bike to run. So that is good. Uh, I bet if we have a good battery on here, we should be uh, good to go.